everybody. So we are leaving in nine days to head to Kathmandu to start our Every Space Camp Trek. And I thought that I would do a short video just show you what I'm wearing clothes-wise. We'll have to do another video for all the other things that we're taking. But, so yeah, this is going to be a video on just, just the clothes, just the clothes. I'm taking three sports bras and I've seen a lot of things out there, a lot of videos and I've, I've went to REI several, several times, y'all know this, and I've found that, you know, there's a lot of technical bras out there that I could get, but what everybody has advised me to do is just wear what's comfortable. So I'm taking my favorites, three of the Victoria's Secret pink sports bras and that's it. So nothing super technical about it. They're just comfy and sometimes they're cute. So that's what I'm doing. For underwear, I got the Exoficio underwear from REI. These are moisture wicking underwear. They come in really blah colors and there was one kind of, you know, something that was a little bit interesting. So I went with that. Um, apparently you can take a shower in these babies and they will wash while you wash. It doesn't seem like I'm gonna get very many showers on this trek, so we may be washing these in a pan somewhere, but I'm taking three pair. I didn't wanna go crazy. Next is my socks. Um, I am taking four pair, but I will probably buy more in Kathmandu. I haven't told John that yet, but he'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm taking four pair of the Merino wool socks. I really like these that are thick on the bottom and thin on the top. I also have a pair of the just thick all the way through and through for the higher altitudes, but I really like the cute patterns on these, so I'm taking two pair of these. For my base layer, I'm going to be taking only one pair of long johns, and I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not, but I really feel like I'm only gonna need these at higher altitude. I have the Patagonia Capilene, uh, long John. So I have the long johns and I have the matching three quarter zip shirt, which I love. I've worn this several times already. And I went with the three quarter zip because I just feel like I'm, if I want to get some air, I can zip it down and I'm, I'm better like that. I, I saw several of the ones that was just like the, that did not have the zip, but I, I like the zippers better. I also have a second long sleeve base layer that is the REI brand Merino wool. Super super comfy. I think I'm going to be really happy that I got that. Um, so that's all I'm taking for my base layers. Um, let's see. For my trekking, for my trekking pants, um, I don't love trekking pants. I'm short, I'm kind of chubby. I don't really like trekking pants. I don't like how they look on me. I don't like how they fit on me. I just don't like them. John made me get these. This is a pair of REIs. I just don't, I just don't like them. I mean, they're all right, whatever. But I really love uh, the trekking tights. These are Athleta brand tights. And I love these because they have a zipper pocket on the sides, on both sides. They have the zipper regular pocket and they have the zipper pocket in the back. I've worn these on several hiking trips so far and I love them, love them, love them. But the only problem with them is that I can't really put a base layer under them. So when I get higher altitudes, I'm probably going to be really cold, which is probably when I'll put these on and John will say, I told you so. And, you know, I have them. Uh, but I did find these North Face and these are, I believe these are called Aphrodite 2.0. These are a pair of North Face trekking pants that are super comfortable. They're stretchy and I'll be able to fit a base layer underneath those. So I think I'll probably wear my leggings and these added with the base layer the most, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel about those green pants when we get back. Um, I'm also taking three t-shirts. When I get to Kathmandu, I'll probably buy a couple more. I did, I did want to see what they have to offer whenever I get there. So I'm just, I'm just packing three. So all of these are, um, I have a Patagonia one, I have an Under Armour one, and just a generic something. I don't know if I love this pattern, but it was different than 
the solid colors that I keep seeing everywhere. So I was like, I'll, I'll get it. I won't care what I have on by the time I have to wear that anyways. Whenever you get done with your checking for the day and you get in, you may or may not get a shower, but you definitely want to get into some comfy clothes and you definitely probably don't want to be in your super stinky ones. You just want to be on your re in your regular stinky ones that you've been wearing at night in the tea house. So I am taking one cotton t-shirt, of course, um, so that I can, I'll probably take another one, so that I can have that in the tea house at night. I'm taking a pair of fleece pajama pants, not these. These are John's cute little snowman ones, but I don't have a pair of fleece pajama pants and it's summertime in Georgia, so it's gonna be hard to find that. You may have to look for those in Kathmandu. I'm also taking some comfy polar bear socks because I want my feet to be comfy at night whenever we get in. I'm probably gonna want a lot of things at night, but I'm not gonna get them, so at least my feet can be comfy. So for my head, I'm taking this really cute beanie that I love a lot. The problem is, is it doesn't cover the bottoms of my ears very well, so it's cute, but it's not exactly what I need. So when I get to Kathmandu, I'm gonna try to find me one of those cute ones that cover the ears, that has the long like pigtails, whatever things, and the little, and the little ball on top. I think I'll look for one of those. I'm also taking a baseball cap. I have a small head, so I have a problem with baseball caps in general. This one is a running baseball cap. It's really cool. It has the mesh in it. I think it's gonna be really cool to wear. I'm not a floppy sun hat kind of person, so I'm taking lots of sunscreen and, and a ball cap. Let's see, the next item is the buffs. So, all the videos that I've been watching, there is, you know, they vary on what is the best thing to take, but there is one thing that is overwhelmingly clear is that you will need a buff on this trek. And this is one of those, I don't know, you put it over your, you put it over your head like this and you can wear it like this. You don't want to get the kumbu call for anything like that. So I've got like a few of those I'm actually taking on the trek for my hands. I am going to be taking three pairs of gloves because you can't have enough gloves. These are the liners that I will be wearing. They are smartphone technology compatible, whatever all that technical stuff is. So this is something that I can keep using my smartphone in. I'm also taking these REI fleece gloves that are also smartphone compatible. Um, so super excited about those. And these are for when we get really high up in altitude and I'm absolutely miserable. They are also smartphone uh, compatible, but at this point I will not care about my smartphone nor will I be able to do anything with these mittens on that, that's gonna get anything accomplished very well. So, but I do have all three of those. For my shoes, I am, I'm taking three pairs of shoes and I have two pair of hiking boots that I really, really love. They are both this, a new brand, A-H-N-U. And I've had these for about three or four years, love them. And I have a problem with my, my ankles rolling a lot, so these high tops come in really handy. I did, for this trek specifically, go and look for some low top shoes. And I really, I got these, and they're waterproof, and I don't really know a whole lot about them, but I love them. So I've been doing a lot of training in these, in these shoes. I'm also taking my Adidas tennis shoes that are just some slide-on comfy shoes. I've heard a lot of people talk about trying to decide if you should take flip-flops or not. When you get back to the tea house at night, you're gonna want something really comfortable to put on your feet to get out of these things for a while. And flip-flops might be great, but I just don't think they're gonna be very warm. I wanna be able to wear my, my polar bear socks. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take these. I'll probably decide to put a pair of flip-flops in my suitcase just to have for maybe if I need them before and after the trek but these are what I'm actually taking up the mountain. For my jackets, I am going to be taking my North Face fleece. It does have a hood. It's probably gonna be absolutely filthy. I've not been very happy with having a beige um, fleece, but it's, it's comfy and it's warm. So I'm gonna be taking that fleece. I'll probably wear that a lot. And then I'm also going to be taking this Arcteryx 
puffy, which is an 800 feel. It is very comfy and it is very soft. It packs up very small. It is also very warm. I tried to wear it a few times here down in Georgia and I literally, literally sweated in it. So it is very warm and comfy. I'm also taking this rain jacket. It's just a marmot. I don't know if there's anything special to it. It's just a marmot rain jacket and I've had it for a long time and I really like it. I don't have any rain pants yet, but that is definitely something that I'm gonna be looking for in Kathmandu. It's one of those things that you don't need them until you need them. And then if you don't have them, you're gonna wish that you did. So what am I taking all this in? Well, the majority of this and my toiletries is going to be in the Porter's um, duffel bag heading up, not with me, but I'm going to need a day pack. I've seen a lot of people who try to decide what size pack to get. Some people get smaller than this, some people get more. This is an Osprey Sirius 36 liter. I feel like this is a really great size. I also wanted something that whenever we came back, it would be a good size for us to do the kind of things that we do around here. I've really enjoyed this pack. I've been training with it for about five months and it's really heavy. It's cut all of the weights from training in it still right now. I will be so glad to get those weights out of there. I've really enjoyed this because I'm also an extra small. So it was really hard to get fitted for a backpack that I just really enjoyed. But this one I found to be super comfortable. It also has this, I don't know what all this technology is, but it's like a trampoline springy thing back here. And on the, the day hikes that we've done so far, this has been so much better than the old pack that I had before, which was also an Osprey, but it did not have this. And I really enjoyed having this. So this is my pack and this is what I will be taking um, this is what I will be taking and it will have things in it like snacks and you know some of these my rain shell and you know, my fleece and things like that so we leave forever space camp in nine days y'all don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can catch all the cool videos that we do on our trip to Nepal thanks mm -hmm.